A famous Aristotle quote says that, Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. The journey of self-discovery is something we all would like to do even though it seems pretty challenging. It's like this, we have a lot of questions that we are supposed to provide answers to by taking the time to find out so many things about our lives. However, bringing ourselves to doing that can be tough. Maybe we should start by understanding the need to discover ourselves. You see, when you discover who you are, it becomes easy to live a purposeful life. That way, you'll know your core values and you won't need to seek validation from people to feel good about yourself or even chase your dream. Anthony Robbins said, successful people ask better questions and as a result, they get better answers. The truth is that the journey of self-discovery leads to success because until you start asking yourself the right questions and pushing yourself to seek the answers, you might never be motivated to do anything valuable in this world. And when you don't provide value to people, how will you succeed? If you don't discover who you are, you won't be happy because you might spend all your life living it the way people will have you live it, pleasing them. Miles Monroe, an author and leadership consultant, once said, The greatest discovery in life is self-discovery. Until you find yourself, you will always be someone else. Become yourself. Also, according to Eckhart Tolle, a German author, you find peace not by rearranging the circumstances of your life, but by realizing who you are at the deepest level. Understanding what self-discovery is about will help you figure out ways to discover yourself. However, there are simple ways that you can try. In this video, I'll share with you simple ways to discover yourself. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. Take time out to think. Socrates, a classical Greek philosopher, once said that, to find yourself, think for yourself. The first step to discovering yourself is to get away from this noisy world. Go into a quiet place to think and reflect. If need be, switch off your phone, take a work in the park, sit in the garden or anything else that you can think of, as long as it gives you room to be alone to think. The reason why many people do not know themselves is that the thought of silence scares them a lot. They never want to be caught doing nothing because they are afraid of being alone. Whether it is playing, working, or just spending their time around people, they want to remain busy. However, until you learn to be satisfied in your company, take time to think about you, your life, interest, passion, and what drives you, you might never be able to discover yourself. According to Chalmers' brother, a certified coach and author, observing yourself is the necessary starting point for real change. So, take time out, be quiet, and begin your journey to self-discovery. Number 2. Ask yourself some challenging questions. Now that you have taken time out, the questions in your mind should be what next? I mean, what are you supposed to use all that time thinking about or doing? It's time to provide answers to some difficult questions that no one can ever help you answer. Again, remember what Anthony Robbins said, successful people ask better questions and as a result, they get better answers. You see, it's easy to procrastinate and delay things like this because the idea of asking oneself some type of questions that forces one to think deeply about themselves can be pretty challenging. However, if we don't do that, then we won't be able to discover ourselves. You can start by asking yourself questions like this. Number 1. What makes you feel joyful in life? Number 2. What do you love to do? What are your interests, likes and dislikes? Number 3. What do you like about yourself? Number 4. What things do you do that makes you lose track of time and get completely engrossed? Number 5. What goals do you intend to achieve before the end of your life? Number 6. If you can start your life all over again, what would you do differently? Number 7.
If you become as wealthy as you've always imagined right now, what's the first thing you'll do with the money? Number eight, is there a difference between who you are now and who you want to be in future? Number nine, what value do you think you'd like to offer to the world? When asking yourself these questions, ensure that you are with a journal to write down some of the answers you'll come up with during the session. Number three, discover new things. Do you know that doing something that you've never done before or when you visit a place that you've never been to can give you insights about some of your likes, dislikes and interests? Experiencing new things widens your perspective and put new ideas into your mind. So, whenever you're feeling lost and have no idea what to do with your life, discovering a few new things can help you find out specific things about yourself. Instead of living in the same apartment for years, working the same job, taking the same routes to work daily, eating the same set of food, etc., opt for some new things. For instance, if you haven't tasted any Japanese meal before, then you should try it. Visit new places, try new hobbies, and talk with new people, read new books, develop new skills, etc. If you don't try different new things, how can you tell what you like and don't like? Also, how can you determine how to spend the rest of your life best when you don't even get exposed to varieties? So, keep learning and exploring. Number 4. Serve and help others. Dieter F. Ochtdorf, a German aviator airline executive, said, As we lose ourselves in the service of others, we discover our own lives and our own happiness. Also, Mahatma Gandhi, an Indian lawyer and political ethicist, said something pretty close. According to him, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. When you live your life serving and helping others, you'll discover something about you that will change your life as well as those that you are helping. Here's the thing, when you help someone, you'll feel satisfied and fulfilled because it will make you happy to know that you have touched somebody's life and made that person happy. Doing this will make you discover a few things about yourself, like what you're passionate about and what you might be willing to spend the rest of your life doing, especially if it is something beneficial to others. Jack Ma once said that when you help others, the changes does not only happen to the person that you helped, but it happens to you too. So, start thinking about others and helping people more. Number 5. Assess your relationships. Think about how you react with others. What moves you more about people? How you react to specific situations around your family and friends and the likes. Knowing these things will help you understand and discover yourself better. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.